Hey there, Jack here with Milmar Buildings, and I wanted to show you one way of laying out an effective radiant heat floor in a post frame building. Here you can see the cutaway of what the system looks like from the base to the top of the concrete slab. As with all concrete, it's important to have a good, compactable base that won't collapse or shift on you after the concrete is poured. Starting from the outside, you can see the concrete perma columns are placed and then a rodent wall that is 6 inch thick and 24 inch deep is dug and poured in place either between the posts as shown here or just inside or just outside of the post. This prevents animals from burrowing underneath the slab and also provides a way to insulate under the slab to keep it from heaving with temperature changes. Here you can see the 2 inch pink foam board that is used to insulate both the rodent wall and underneath the heated slab. The PEX tubing is run on top of the pink foam board and on top of a layer of remesh which it is wired to so that it stays in place and doesn't flex towards the top of the concrete before the concrete dries. We also sometimes staple the PEX tubing directly to the foam board with special staples to keep it in place while the concrete is poured. If you have any questions or another way you like to build a radiant heat flooring system on a post frame building, we would love to hear it. Be sure to check out our website at milmarpolebuildings.com and thank you for watching.